welcome to Heather and Hops. My name is Kat, I'm a knitter based in Hertfordshire in the United Kingdom and this is my little space where I document my knitting and fibre craft journey and try and connect with the wonderful making community and generally try and help a little bit and also reflect. <laughs> so today I am doing something slightly different, I've done this a few times in the past I think whilst it's really useful to talk about what I'm making as I'm going along, sometimes it's good to take a pause to reflect. Um, so yeah, I had every intention of recording that video, um, but I think I'm going to end up talking about this so much that I'm going to sit down and record that immediately after. So I'm going to talk about my summer knitwear in my next video. I think it just makes more sense. I had always intended on doing a summer video and whilst it would be good to do that now and these kind of subjects interlink, I think I'm going to end up waffling about this so much that <laughs> it makes sense to keep this separate. Um, so yeah, this is kind of a, a bonusy episode that has been sponsored and it's like this. It's definitely got balance. There's some things that I've learned or feel like with this company really need some work and some things that are amazing. And I just like to be quite clear because obviously I've been given stuff to try and I've tried to have as much time with these items as I can and to be as thorough. Unfortunately I didn't check one thing in particular before I agreed to try these products um, and that is sizing. Uh, the items that don't need sizing are amazing, they are my favourite by far and I will use those for as long as they last. However, the garments, and that's not to say they're bad garments, they are made beautifully. Um, however, in terms of sizing, I actually should have done my, I should have done better with the upfront. The sizing doesn't go up nearly as big as I would expect for even knitting patterns these days. It doesn't go down small enough for me as you can see. This is, this is okay, but still like, there's a lot of ease in this and I can't actually if I was to have the straps high enough that they don't, the V's at a nicer height for me personally, um, you'd see the, the little doodly doos here. And I don't really like that, so I've gone for the middle ground. And then this, it, it kind of drowns me a little bit. Um, it has a button to do it up, just the one, not button, a popper. Um, it, it's it's comfortable, they're both very comfortable, but they come in very limited sizing and all of everything on the website, so it doesn't go up to a nearly large enough size. I really hope that's something that they will approach, whether that's by maybe offering pre-ordered clothing as part of what they the brand stands for is zero waste. Um, so offering things to be made to order rather than you know sitting on stock it would be a way of them negating that um, but it doesn't go down nearly to my size as you can see and it doesn't go up nearly big enough okay so actually it looks like some they've got a really bizarre size range um, so some things are one size fits most um, and it looks like bras and things some of those come up to 31.5 inch chest up to, I think it said 40, uh, but other items come up to a, up to a 52 inch chest or 53 inch hip, um, which isn't terrible, that's what the Craft Yarn Council, Council do, but I really think that now, by now we should be up to a much more broader size range, so hopefully that like I said, that's something that they will get back to me on and hopefully, you know, look into for the future 
and maybe the pre-ordering way is a good way of doing so but yeah that I maybe would have not said yes and some things come in standard sizing and some things don't um lily silk are a brand that tries to be sustainable um, and zero waste I got this through the post with the items in uh, hmm? um, it is all recyclable or reusable and I will reuse it I might make some sort of woven item out of those uh, let Audrey play with them um, this is all paper paper mix again I will use these but there's quite a lot of them, like there was one pillowcase in each of these, could have put them in both.
Um, I'm going to quickly talk about silk very quickly. If you are of a gentle disposition maybe like myself and I would just skip the next minute or so. I'm just going to run down quickly how silk's made and but I think I think you know we should all know we should know where these things come from. I did have a inclination but maybe not to quite the extent that it is but it is what it is. Um, so silk comes from a silkworm. I don't know everything, might get some of these facts wrong, so it's just an overview of what I found when I was doing some research. Uh, silkworms apparently lay 400 eggs in one go, which is wild. Um, mulberry silk generally just means that the silkworms ate mulberry, which as, as was on one of the little videos that I watched, Mulberries are the most delicious thing. Why are they just eating the leaves? They're angels. Because mulberries are just the most delicious. Anyway, they excrete the silk through their glands before they turn to moths. Now, when the strands come out, to ensure they're as long as possible and as well kept as possible, sadly, they generally boil them like masses of moths. Um, each strand can be as long as nine football fields, apparently, or up to one mile per cocoon, apparently. Um, if you are to weave, to get three feet of width of silk, you need 4,000 threads, so that's wild. That I'm not a weaver, even though that's my surname. Um, that is nuts. Uh, that seems like a huge amount for, you know, not a very wide piece of fabric. So it's very, um, you know, involved. They will generally bleach it to ensure you get a clear colour. And these are all processes. There's plenty more and there's a lot more to it, but I just wanted a tiniest little snippet of an overview. So. Silk is a very involved, very hard on silkworms thing. Um, so I am going to be even more thoughtful going forward. I know that there's things like peace silk out there, but budgets, we've all got to make our choices and make our decisions into what we do and how we, and I definitely will be thinking more about that going forward. Wool is amazing, right? Um, so I really, I, I, I did do a bit more and I, if, if I'm honest, I don't want to get things too wrong, but I just wanted to cover that up front because I feel like it's, it is important. It really is. Yeah, there's some, there's some good points on here that mulberry trees require far less water than cotton to grow and do not require pesticides. It helps to reduce soil pollution, it's kind of good. In addition, silk is naturally degradable fibre which decomposes in just one to five years under the right conditions. It ad <laughs> Lily Silk adopts advanced recyclable packaging technology to increase the use value of the packaging box and reduce any environmental pollution. Yeah, and uh, these will last, like the, they are very densely woven. Um, so I do think if you wanted one, you will only really need one in your wardrobe rather than, you know, I've got some of the knitted bralettes and things where I do need multiple because they aren't gonna last quite as long. And I also need to wash them a little bit more frequently. Um, they work with TerraCycle. They've got their own kind of breed. They've been breeding their own silkworms from generation to generation. Um, natural gold silk with the highest quality 6A certification and the color of the silk is bright and eye-catching and it's softer and skin friendly. They've got good customer services. Actually, Elena, who I've been like connected with has been really helpful. Um, 
and they are 100% natural mulberry silk. They only use the highest grade quality fibre, silk 6A, and they're also Eco Ercotech certified, which means that they are free from harmful substances and it's it's kind of like a grading system where they check it each step of the way um, just for harmful sus substances. I think it's a similar situation to like a fair trade or an organic where you have to kind of have the money to be able to declare but it is also really nice that they're ch checking for things uh, because obviously when things are close to your skin your skin is going to absorb these things so this is good um, yeah so like I said I have found this, these great for bedtime for wearing out I have been lounging around the house in both of these quite a lot since we've had the heat wave. They want to inspire people to live a better life and a more sustainable lifestyle. Our care for one another and the planet is what drives us. We believe that zero waste can make a difference to people and the planet. We can confidently say not all silk is created equal and our mission is to be recognised as the best silk, land, silk brand globally. This packaging is 100% recycled or reusable and made responsibly. Yeah, I mean, I got, and I don't know if I got more of these sort of postcardy things because I was sponsored, but we are partnered with Terra Silk No Waste Recycling Program. TerraCycle is a social enterprise eliminating the idea of waste. They want to work, they work with some of the leading companies of the world to take hard to recycle materials and turn them into new products. You can be part of this program by sending out unwanted silk, lily silk textiles, including bedding, apparel and sleepwear to TerraCycle. As a reward for every pound of lily silk textiles recycled, you will receive 100 TerraCycle points and 100 lily silk points that you can purchase with us. Mm, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, I, I just... I do want to do this quite thoroughly. The items that I had a choice from were all, um, I think there was four sizes and these are clearly very oversized on me. This, they've, they've both been lovely in all honesty. Um, in terms of wearing this being so oversized and out of such a cool fabric has been nice in summer evenings I took this away with me to punk, both of these two uh, punk rock holiday in the evenings a couple of times I did hoy this on uh, just as a kind of a, an extra layer and it definitely was too warm to really be wearing a jumper or anything like that and this I've slept in quite a bit and have worn out a couple of times. Um, it does feel lovely. It, it is nice against the skin. Yeah, like you can feel how luxurious it is. I think. Very weird. Yeah, so this is 85% silk and 15% metallic, which I guess is like a Stellina type thing. Um, feels nice. They this is a bit. This is quite nice for this floppy arm situation. Yeah, I've enjoyed wearing it. It's lasted in the wash. This has caught a couple of times. I like I say I am. Um, I'm I'm hard wearing on clothes so. That is what it is that that could be me it could be that it, it is liable to catch I think it's probably me and they have lasted well in the wash I've not changed the way I wash them they've gone in with everything else that we have um, I did have to iron this before I shared it uh, yeah Uh, what else? So, I'm going to talk about my favourite part of this whole thing has definitely been 
the pillows. Not the pillows, but the pillowcases. So we were also sent two pillowcases. I picked the colour, can you tell? So I picked two of these pillowcases um, and there is a little, little brown on it um, and this has been amazing and I will actually, this one I'm excited to talk about, um, doesn't have, you know, it came in the smallest box boxes, they could have probably put both of them in one and I would have been quite happy actually if it came like that it would feel quite fancy and luxurious but knowing I could use it again and it's paper like yes okay but it's had double that and these have been so good that I took them we both took our pillows with these cases on to the festival abroad and that's not something I would usually do, it seemed very luxurious, but it is. The the temp temperature regulating aspect of it has been great, especially as someone with uh, chronic problems. Uh, my temperature does do wild things and this has really helped. Both this or two, but this at night has been amazing. Um, it stays quite cool to the touch. Um, and as well as it just feeling really nice it is super 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 soft the biggest thing i noticed was my hair and i didn't anticipate that i am not someone that i like to express myself with my you know my appearance and more so in over the last sort of six months i've let myself do that more freely than i had for a, you know a few years um but I'm not one to, you know, I don't have a skincare program or things like that. Um, and much less my hair, it, it gets its wash. And whilst I do try and be sensible with it, you know, I never thought about sleeping and how me rolling around as much as I do would affect it. And since I've used this, I have to say, you might not be able to tell, but my hair has become a lot less frizzy and way more manageable actually um it doesn't get as tangled the the lack of friction does seem to help and what i from what i understand because it's less absorbent than we used brush cotton and cotton bedding where the cotton would absorb just any moisture or anything from my hair and as my hair is quite liable to get dry this doesn't take that away from it so it does seem to be a lot better so that you know I would I don't think I will go back to a normal pillow and given the opportunity I would probably gladly have full bedding and see how that affected my body temperature at night because Alex can attest I am an absolute <laughs> radiator oh yeah uh so I imagine having this would be amazing and I, I like I'm here with it now um it's quite good for anti-allergy it doesn't attract dust and things like in fact it repels it unlike the cotton bedding so whilst I have a few things that mm, mm, about it I this I this I love and absolutely worth like it's just an amazing thing that I'm very grateful that I got to try because like I said it's really changed my hair and that's something that I've been <laughs> battling for <laughs> most of my life uh, yeah so I really like this and would shout about it gladly but I'm not convinced like the the garments are lovely and they will live in my wardrobe and get worn i've got a feeling that my mum actually might really like this um or my grandma um but 
they're, they'll live in my wardrobe and I'll continue to use them and I might come back in a year and again review these and see how they you know last but yeah I wanted to do them do this quite a bit of justice and actually share it properly so yeah um if you are interested the kind of people at Lily Silk have offered a 12% off uh, anything on their website uh, it looks like it's everything is and the code is knitting 12 um, and I'll pop that in the doodah down below um, again there's no pressure it's just if you're interested like I said these thing these pillowcases are it's just yeah I really really am super excited by them and will continue to use it Um, yeah, and I think this has got so many threads per inch, like it's so fine, but because of that it's so dense, but I think this will last quite well, it will last a long time, and I'm not going to stop using this until it is completely threadbare, and I think Alex is the same, he's noticed it on his hair too. So yeah, I don't know. What would you do with these boxes, other than gift them, put stuff in them to gift them? Maybe I should like, do a small woven purse or something with these. And yeah, I don't know, hopefully this is sort of in encouraging you to go out and do your own research on silk, maybe on even wool, I know that I always get I get shocked every now and then too with the process. I'm like, oh, that's how they do it. Like the process of superwash. Um, whether it's useful for you or not, it's just good to know. I think that the more we know, the better. Especially with these things when we're affecting things for the future and hopefully using things for the future. It's good to know where it's come from and why why those processes are used. So yeah don't really know what else to say I'm gonna leave it there I can't believe that this ended up being a full video on this subject um, but yeah let me know what you think because I have a lot of feels clearly wow <laughs>